Do you know that woman who wanted to put an offer on the pub? Chloe. Chloe. She's the one I told you about. I said, she's that Chloe. Yes. Right, well, no wonder you were acting weird. What's he on about? She's a punter. I used to drive her around. Oh, I. And what else? No, nothing else, Liz. She got the wrong end of the stick. She tried it on with me. I knocked her back. That's why she wants to buy this place, to get even. I've heard enough. Just get out, will you? Hang on a minute. If it's true, it's not his fault, is it? He's not actually done anything. Oh, so he says. Let's just, you know, say she is messing us about. We need to keep the place on the market. We'll find out who we're messing with here. If I find out you're lying, I swear to God. I'm not, Liz. Did Peter say where he's gone? Just that he had something to sort out. Uh, I could try his phone again if you wanted. No, no, I'll wait. Uh, if that's all right. Look, Ken, if you've come to give us another lecture about the Rovers, then don't bother, eh? Some woman's put an offer in, so she'll probably get it. I know. She told me. Oh, do you know her? Not exactly. Not as well as Peter. What do you mean? Look, you have to believe me. I, I'm not doing this to try to hurt you, but I'm just worried that Peter's not only in danger of ruining his life, but yours and Simon's as well. <sighs> what is this all about? Peter's drinking again. And uh, he's been having an affair with her. What are you talking about? I mean, what? Why would you say something like that? Because it's the truth. Do you know, I want you to get out, I want you to leave. No, she told me everything about how they met through his work and how they grew closer. <laughs> well, it doesn't mean that he's sleeping with her, does it? No, but I saw them arguing and she told me about the money. What money? The £2,000 he borrowed from her. 